Hello again on YouTube. Um, here is the promised special channel update. It is going to be different, obviously. It's a really nice red background, and it's going to lead into where it is. So, I've been hinting over the past week, so it's going to be revolutionising the channel. It is changing. Um, so, related to gaming. So, I might as well start bracket down. Um, basically, I'm getting a custom gaming PC built. So I'm going to run through the specifications what I'm getting and in the end I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing. So uh, enjoy my video and stay tuned to, for tomorrow because I'll be having a video sh showing the actual hardware. So let's go. So for the processor I've uh, decided to pick a, an Intel Core i7-3770K. Which has only just recently come out, it's the new Ivy Bridge processor. Um, I decided to go for an i7 over an i5 because uh, it's because i7's better, uh, more capable of doing uh, multitasking, which I will be doing a lot of. So that's why I decided to go in i7. Originally, I'm going to go in i5, but until I was going to until uh, I decided to actually use a bit of Sony Vegas. So obviously, at the minute I use my iMac and use I'm using currently using Final Cut Pro X, which I'm using now to record this. So yeah, uh, so I went with the i7 because it's better, it's more capable, of, uh, better uh, multitasking, which I will be needing, which you'll find out basically in the end of this special announcement. So let's move on to the next part of the computer. So the next part for me computer is going to be the motherboard. Um, I've decided to pick a Asus motherboard. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure actually on which model it is, but it's going to be basically like more than likely be like that one what's been uh, shown in picture, which uh, well I believe that picture can actually support SLI, which I do plan on doing that later on, but not straight away. I'm just going to be getting one graphics card, which will be coming up after this part. So yeah. I decided to pick an Asus motherboard because I really like the look of them um, compared to like Gigabyte motherboards and all that. And plus, I like the little switch which can flick, which does a little bit of overclocking for you. So, yeah, I went with an Asus motherboard. So, let's get on to the next component to the computer. So for the graphics card, I did uh, loads of research and I found decided on actually getting the new NVIDIA GTX 670 but I didn't go with the actual reference card, I actually went with the Polit, I believe that's how you say it, it is the Polit GTX 670 Jetstream Edition which looks absolutely amazing, it comes with a twin, twin fan design which actually keeps it really cool and it is actually overclocked by a real lot of things, about an extra hundred, um, whatever you call it, gigahertz or something, to reference. Um, and the actual supplier where the person who actually is building my computer for, where I'm getting my computer built from, is actually, it actually comes with a free copy of uh, Mafia 2, which is going to be really, really good. So, yeah, I decided to pick the GTX 670 because with pricing and all that, it is actually a real dear card. And, Basically, compared to GTX 680, there's basically no difference. And if I have this in SLI, which I do plan on doing in a few weeks, next year maybe, it actually does compete with the actual current leading graphics card, which is the GTX 690. So yeah, that is the graphics card, which is going to be my computer. So let's get on to the next component. So for the case and power supply, um, I did a load of um, looking around for cases, choosing, actually this one what I've picked currently is dearer than what I actually originally wanted to pick, which I didn't have a clue what it was called, but um, so I actually did a combo thing with eBuyer, where it came with a power supply unit, so when I put the image up, and it is going to be the Cooler Master Storm Enforcer, which came out last year, and it comes with a... Cooler Master GX 650 watt bronze 
So yeah, um, I really like this case. I think it looks really nice, nice red LED fan. And plus um, on glass window on the side, you both see the blue LEDs on the actual uh, Polit GTX 600 graphics card. So yeah, and plus I really, really like the actual close, closing do magnetic door. It actually covers up your three uh, optical drives and the uh, optional one for, I think it's like floppy and the CAD readers, stuff like that. So yeah, that's the case and post play. So, so, next, so let's go on to the next component and computer. So for random storage, um, it did change quite a bit of uh, time. Originally, I was actually going to go with eight gigs of RAM, uh, sixteen hundred megahertz, and I was actually going to go with a uh, one terabyte hard drive. But over time, it actually changed, and it's a lot better. And so, in this actual build, which will be up on my channel tomorrow, so stay tuned to my channel tomorrow, where I'll be doing an actual video. Showing me computer, hardware parts and all that. A bit like related software. But um, basically, I've gone with 16 gigabytes of RAM, uh, 1600 megahertz, and I've got a 2 terabyte hard drive. So I'm plenty there with RAM and storage. So that's going to be plenty enough for all my games and future stuff and all my editing. So yeah, let's go on to the final components computer, and then it's going to be for my accessories. So for the final components, um, it's going to have two optional um, extras. One's uh, which already comes with it, but uh, it's like an upgrade, and then another one's optional. So basically, let's put it up, and it is going to be a uh, aftermarket CPU cooler instead of the stock Intel one, because I want to keep that CPU a, little, a lot more cooler than the actual uh, Intel based one. No. I don't even I don't know what it is uh, what cooler it's going to be, but I told the person who's building my computer to give us a nice um, CPU cooler. So yeah, um, other thing is actually built-in Wi-Fi, so uh, I don't need to mess around with Ethernet cable, which is connected to my PS3. So I don't need to mess around unplugging that and putting in computer, and vice versa. Um, so yeah, so that's the that's the actual complete hardware for my computer. So, so tomorrow I'm going to be sh actually having a video of it, so I hope you en enjoyed the uh, hardware part section of this video. So stay tuned, for just after this part I'm going to be having uh, what's it, uh, three accessories. Also there will be one um, DVD drive for all my games and all that in computer. Um, yeah, so on to the next part. So for the accessories section, it's going to be three accessories, mouse, keyboard, and a mouse mat. So basically I'm going to start with the most dearest part of it, and it is going to be the keyboard. It is the Microsoft Sidewinder X4 gaming keyboard, the UK layout. Um, I just have to pick this keyboard because for the money, which is pretty cheap, I got 32 quid from Amazon. It's got red LED backlight keyboard keys. It's got your little, um, whatever you call them, I forgot what you call them now. Keys on the side. Uh, so basically, it's a really good gaming keyboard for value for money because you don't want to like, go crazy spending a load of money on a keyboard. So yeah, let's move on to the mouse. Um, mouse um, is, I, I know mouse is kind of very, I didn't want to blast out like 100 quid on a mouse even though they were really nice. Um, it is a 20 quid mouse and it is a, let me have a look, can't remember, it is a Gigabyte Eco 600 wireless gaming mouse, uh, it is a real nice mouse, um, I originally going to go with a Trust mouse, a wide one, but I uh, wanted a wireless one so I paid an extra £1 to get that one, I think it has a little bit less features, but I'd rather have wireless because um, there's going to be a bit of distance from me to a computer. I know keyboard can actually fit um, with a cable length and all that. So, final accessory is going to be for the mouse mat. And it is for the uh, 
uh, a real nice one is the Razer Goliath Omega get, um, Control. Um, I'll have a look. Control Mouse Map Fragged Edition. So it's the small one because I didn't want a humongous one. So yeah, that's um, all my accessories. So so that's to wrap up the actual hardware and accessories. And um, I'm gonna end it video just after this next um, text slide. So this is the last part to my video. It's nice since you've seen me all my hardware and my computer and accessories. Uh, people might be thinking, ah, is this going to change my channel? But basically, since I've got all that, uh, I'm now able to actually do gameplay, which is going to be absolutely amazing on my channel. So that means my channel's going to be growing massively um, over time, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be sat and doing yeah, your little gameplays there and there. Well, probably not near enough a lot of times. And then I'll be going into Let's Plays, which will be pretty soon, because um, I'll probably start doing a Let's probably start recording a bit of a Let's Play, like getting used to it um, this weekend. Um, after this uh, tomorrow's video, I'll be like installing me like um, recording software, editing software, all that, tweaking around with it, test it on YouTube, all that. Seriously, like, um, I will be using a Dexter instead of Fraps, because uh, I've done loads of research and people saying Dexter is a lot better. I will be editing in. Um, Sony Vegas because can make her uh, files really really small and then um, it will be hopefully in 1080p as well so I will be uploading then so yeah I hope you everyone likes my channel what my new channel is going to be like I hope you, I really I really 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 appreciate it if you subscribe because it helps me a lot more and um, also I will be doing voice commentary Terry in my videos using a little clip on mic which uh, I bought from Amazon it's only five quid one it's not like glamorous but from what I read it's pretty decent and so yeah so that's it to all my subscribers thanks for sticking with me over these past few years um, so it's time for me to actually change expand and yeah so let's see where it goes and thanks for watching I hope you really like enjoy what my channel is going to become and so yeah thanks for watching and so as always I'm going to end it like normal do so thanks for watching and see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow, showing the hardware part on my computer. So, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.